Hi everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the steps you can follow for deploying your Django application on Heroku. Right. So that's what we will be covering in this video. So stay tuned with me and do not skip any part of this video. Watch this video completely right from the beginning till the end without skipping anything. Okay, so let's dive into the tutorial without wasting any more time. So as you can see, this is my Django application and it's right now traveling on port number 8000 of my local. Right, now, uh, you know, I've all, I'm done with deploying this application on Heroku, right? And this is the application which is right now, uh, you know, which I've deployed through Heroku on this particular URL and it can be accessed on the internet now how i have done it let me show you that so these are the steps which you can follow right for deploying your application your django application through heroku online right so what are the first things so once you're done with you know creating your application okay so this is my django application right and as you can see there is this uh, project folder which i have and then there is an application with name counter present inside the project. Okay, we have this static files folder also in place, which I have created by using this command. Let me close the server. And this is a command that you can fire for creating the static files. Okay. Now, once you're done with creating these static files, the next thing you have to do is you have to follow these steps, right? So what is the first step? It says uh, install Unicorn and Django Heroku. So with the help of this command, you can install both these libraries. You just have to, you know, paste it like this over here. No need to create any virtual environment for this. You can simply install it uh, with this command because they are already installed on my device. So I'm not going to do it again. Okay. Once you're done with installing these two libraries, what is the next thing? You have to create a file named runtime.txt. Okay. So this is the file that you need to create and it should be there inside that directory in which your project folder and your application folders are present. Fine. So what I've mentioned here, it's the Python version through which I've created my application. Okay, so it can be 3.10.10 for you or 3.8.7 for you. It can be anything, right? So basically the Python version that you have used for creating your application, that is what you'll have to mention over here, like the way I have done it. Okay, what is the next step? Create a proc file and write this command in it. Okay, so because on Heroku, we will be using Unicorn for deploying our application, right, for making our application live and, you know, runnable on in the online. So for that, this command is required. Now, how and where you have to put it, let me show it to you. So this is a file that you have to create. Okay, and simply you have to copy this command and paste it over here. Right. How you'll create this file? It's very simple. Just click on this button and here you have to write prop file like this. Okay. So once you're done with creating this file, you have to simply copy and paste this command. What's the next thing? Let's check it out. Get the requirements and requirements for txt file. Right. So there is a command called pip freeze command with the help of which you can gather the names of all the libraries that you have used in your Django application and put it in a file named requirements.txt. So basically, if you if, if this, is, this is something which is new to you, let me show it to you how you'll do it. So you can come here in the terminal and simply fire this command pip freeze. Okay, pip freeze then a crocodile sign requirements.txt so this will create a file like uh, you know file with name requirements.txt for you inside this folder where your you know application code resides and in that it will put all the names of libraries which you have used for your application so basically if these four are not there you know if they doesn't get identified 
then you have to put it manually so these four libraries are uh, you know the mandatory libraries you can say which you have to mandatorily put in this requirements for txt file okay what are the next step so you have to come here in your project directory in your settings file and on the top you have to put these two lines import django heroku and dj database url okay what is the next step let's check it out so you have to add these three lines of code just after that line where you are telling the interpreter the location of your static file so what i mean by that is i was referring to this line right static url static so here we are telling the interpreter that uh, you know static files can be found in the folder named static so just below that you can put these three lines of code okay so static files what will happen unicorn will take the static files from this static files named folder you have created okay now what is the next thing you have to uh, pass this value for allowed host so that it can be accessible on all the domains like this what is the next thing install heroku cli on your device so basically you know uh, if you will fire this command heroku let me open the terminal and here if i write heroku so what will happen because i have heroku cli installed on my device it will not throw any error right instead it will show me all the information related to heroku cli and you know the commands that i can use in on heroku cli now how you will do it if suppose you you, you you'll write this heroku thing in your terminal so it will show you an error if you do not have heroku cli installed on your device so for installing it you have to simply come here and you have to write heroku cli download fine and from this page you will have to download the heroku cli installer and where you will get it from so come on git installation sorry not git installation i need to come down and this is where you'll find the installer so if you have a 64 bit windows you can use this one if you have a 30 bit uh, windows you can use this one okay now once you're done with uh, downloading the installer it will come like this on your device let me show it to you so it is an exe file that will get downloaded you just have to install it now once you're done with installing it see uh, heroku has given us so many options right because heroku is heroku is already installed on my device so this is the next thing that you have to do you have to install heroku now once you are done with installing heroku what is the next step uh, you have to write heroku to check whether heroku has been correctly installed on your device or not then you have to install git okay now how you will do it so here you can come on this link and simply download git from here fine uh, do we have the git okay i think we can do it like this otherwise if we do not have a git installer on this page git install okay and here you can come on downloads and simply click on windows and it will give you an executable file on your device and through which you'll be able to install git now once you're done with installing git what is the next thing you have to write heroku login so make sure you have a heroku account on your device right so this is my heroku account if you see right and here right i've created two different applications code with gorav and code with, code with gorav too okay so the next thing that you have to do is heroku login let me show you what will happen if you will type heroku login and execute the enter button on your device so this will take you to this message it says press any key to open the browser 
So I have pressed the enter button. Let's see what's the next thing it's going to show us. Okay, so this has taken me to a page where it says I have to log in into Heroku CLI. Logged in as you can see, right? I can close this window and let's come back on the terminal and see what happens. So I have successfully logged in into my account. Okay, as you can see over here. Now what's the next thing we have to do is uh, come on Heroku and create an application by verifying your payment details. So you have to, uh, you know, enter your credit card details and then from here you can create a new application. You have to simply write a name, a random name over here which should be unique. For example, uh, example Django and if I, okay, it is available, right? And you just have to hit this create application button for creating uh, this application. So I've already created two different applications and for this one I'm using code with Gaurav 2. So based on this also, this only I'm going to show you the rest of the code. Now what is the next thing? So here you have to come on your terminal, right? And as you can see, I'm inside that directory in which my whole code is present. So it is cool counters. Right, this is the directory, sorry, this is the directory in which my project is there, my application is present and static files and everything is there. So I have, I've, what I've done is I have accessed this on the CMD. If you want, you can do it from here also, right? But I did it, uh, you know, on this CMD. So that is the reason I'm going to show you the command from commands from here. So the first thing that you have to do is git in it you have to initialize git okay once you're done with that you need to write this command heroku git colon remote dash a and after that you have to write the name of your application so basically you don't have to worry about this command you know once you uh, are done with creating an application it will give you the rest of the commands on the interface itself. Let me show it to you once, no problem. So create new app and here I'm going to type code with Gaurav 3. Is it available? Yes, it is. Create app and I've created an application for myself. And as you can see, all the commands are present over here, right? So the first command is get in it. Then you have to do this. Okay, that's what I've done over here. Fine, so it will add this, uh, uh, you know, repo to git. Once that is done, you have to do git add dot. So what it, what it will do, it will add all the files and folders present inside the main directory to your git. Okay, and then you have to write this command git commit dash am like this. Let me show it to you once so that everything can be clear to you. I do not want you guys to stuck anywhere. So this is the next command that you have to fire. Git commit dash am and then you can write anything over here. Uh, what is the next thing? It is git push. So this may not work for you because it didn't work for me also. What I did was I used this command instead git push dash dash set dash upstream heroku master so once you fire this command in cmd automatically it will take all the files and directories present in the main directory and it will identify the libraries okay and it will start installing all the libraries for you on heroku once the libraries will get installed it will give you a link like this through which you can you will be able to access your application online right so these are some uh, you know basic steps that you can use for deploying your application on heroku that is it from my side in this lecture i hope you guys enjoyed it bye bye take care and have a great great day guys